ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. Do you remember Pokemon Go? It was that mobile app craze a few years ago. Uh, that game uses augmented reality, placing characters in a real-life environment. People were bumping into things, playing that game yeah. all over town. <laughs> well, now that technology is actually being used in one of the first of its kind surgeries in the country. ABC 7's Victoria Sanchez shows us how it's working in Northern Virginia. The sounds of surgery are the same, but the view is much different. So I can see essentially inside the patient. So we're all saying it's like I have x-ray vision. Virginia Spine Institute's Dr. Christopher Good is the first surgeon in the DMV to use augmented reality to operate. The headset screen virtually places the patient's scans right on the operating table. This is next gen stuff. This is uh, the F-35 of the surgical world. The comparison to a combat aircraft is quite fitting for 20-year active duty Air Force veteran Trent Peterson. The Minnesota resident traveled to Reston, Virginia after suffering from debilitating nerve pain in his legs. It was just getting to that point where I, you know, I couldn't really bear it. Video from the two and a half hour long surgery shows the doctor's delicate internal movements. If somebody's had surgery before and previous problems, lots of times their insides and their anatomy is not normal. And so being able to see the scan can really help you when it's challenging anatomy. I think of this as like using a GPS when you're driving in a big city you've never been to before. It helps you to get there on the first try. Surgery was a success. I noticed the nerve pain in the leg was a lot of it was gone. Um, it was pretty, pretty surreal. Dr. Good says the augmented reality headset X-Vision could be used in more than spine surgery and expects to see technology like this in operating rooms across the country. Victoria Sanchez, ABC 7 News.